what's up you guys byron rogers tactical protection review learn protection strategies from a protection professional check out this next video we're in the mall young woman's walking she got a short skirt on someone possibly a predator has been tracking her. Soft contact. And itching his leg. He's itching his ankle. Looking around a lot. He looks for it. Holds out slowly. So what can we learn from what just happened to this young lady? Like she was just victimized, right? Um, and it doesn't look like she even realized it. Like she even knew anything happened, right? Uh, but of course the other males in the area know what's going on because we all speak this language and that. And I, it, 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 there's, there's a very, men have a language where they understand each other, just like women have a language where they understand each other. Men can smell activity like this organically because of the way we're set up biochemically. That's what fathers protecting their daughters, they've got an edge, right? And we see other ma male predators in the environment. Now let's dig into what we can learn from this. All right, this young lady's walking. You can see already back here that our predator has already got angles on her, okay? She, we can't see her face because of the quality, but obviously she has no idea Maybe she has a faint idea, but probably she has no idea. You see him come out of the shadows here, and he chooses her because of what she's wearing. Now, uh, you know, you can choose to dress however you want, but I was taught as a young man, dress the way you'd like to be addressed, right? So if people are judging me by the way I am dressed, I could say it's just simply their problem or I can take responsibility for it and I can dress in a way that will help me avoid trouble, avoid negative human contact and avoid negative human judgments that we know are out there, right? So if a man would like to change the world, first change yourself, it's gotten me very far in life. So we're gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna get a little bit deep in here just because probably very much because of what she's wearing, she is selected as a target by this predator. I'll never deal with you guys in anything other than reality. He saw an easy target that fit his target profile. He is aiming to take a shot of her skirt and because she's wearing a short skirt, this is straight logic, she became the most ripe target, the low hanging fruit in the environment. I'm not telling you guys what to do, I'm just telling you how predators select target packages, right? So, she's walking, he selects her, uh, he has the luxury of a disguise, glasses, and a mask on. These are all probably things that he thought out before uh, choosing to do what he's been doing. Uh, the cell phone, being on your cell phone is a great uh, wingman. It is something that can give you camouflage in your environment you can hop on your cell phone and you can loiter you can hop on your cell phone and look like you're having a good time people will literally gloss right by you when you hop on your cell phone sometimes in private security i will literally if i'm working solo and i'm in an environment where all of a sudden people are like why is this kind of like larger black dude like hanging out here and the second i pull my phone out and pretend like i'm on my phone while i watch my principal or my client fortunately i have trust with my client they know i'm not actually on my phone the the environment begins to relax. I'm just some dude, you know, messing around on my cell phone at that point. So what he's using is urban camouflage and he's probably prepping his phone, but this gives him some ur urban camouflage from his environment. You stop walking, the other thing is you stop walking, the other person in your environment stops, stops walking, that should always get your attention. Uh, if you notice, you know, anytime, your stop, you stop walking, they stop walking, and any time someone is stopping directly behind you, we talk a lot about tactical positioning, right? Anytime someone is stopping directly behind you or in any of your blind spots, 
it should get your attention. This is a shortcut that you can take to keep yourself safer. If someone's ever positioning themselves in any of your blind spots, no matter whether they look like a threat, you look like you can take them or not, you need to pay attention. And what I do is I just sway. Like I don't get stressed out and like, hey, what are you doing my blind spot? You know what I'm saying? No, I just kind of like sway and move around. Now, you know, you just kind of move. If they do it again, I'll move a little more aggressively so they'll notice I don't want you in my blind spot. Then it's their ball. If they want to mount an attack, they can. Or usually they're like kind of like a little uncomfortable and they stop and they cut it out. Some cultures aren't sensitive to this. So they tend to like just do this organically. He'll let you guys figure out who that is. But make sure no one stops in your blind spot. If you stop moving and someone else stops moving, they're probably trained in on you, right? So we dig in a little bit deeper. He's still using urban camouflage with his cell phone. His cell phone is now prepped. Now you're gonna start reading his behavior. This is use of Badoo stuff. This is behavioral profiling stuff. He walks up, all right. He's kind of got that little stutter step going. All right, boom, he's itching his arm, right? Nervous behavior here. Why are you itching your arm? Anytime you see people start doing this stuff, kind of like stretching, acting all like, <sighs> a lot of that is nervous behavior. Their, their, their brain is betraying their intentions. And so you start to see little things like this taken by itself, it could be nothing, could have got a weird text message, but this is preparatory nervous behavior. Um, and taken in context, it should get your attention. So he's sitting here, itching his arm, looking around. That was a distinct look around. There's another distinct look around, look around, hands directly down by his sides, dangling. He's trying to make himself small, looking around. There's a lot of nervous behavior. You see someone acting like this, before they do something, he is getting ready to do something. Looking around, kind of like shuffling his feet up. Now, when he did that little bend over, he's checking her awareness to see if she is sensitive, aware of his presence. He's getting into her bubble a little bit and checking to see if he can take the shot. He's like literally taking the shot before taking the shot, right? So he's like, okay, like, okay. So she's like totally not paying attention to me. I'm good. He's in and out of her bubble. He's looking around one more time. Look at all this itching his ankle. He's doing a lot of things behind her to see if it's gonna get her attention or if she's totally trained in on what she's doing. And then a lot of these behaviors are just things that his rear brain is just doing to help him get rid of some of this nervous behavior before he takes this risk because he is about to take a risk. Looking around still, so much nervous behavior. And also when he was bending over, he's checking to see how low he's gonna to have to bend over in order to get the shot. Right, so then he understands, he's training, he's pacing, he's getting his distance, getting his distance, getting his distance, boom, before coming in for it. Comes in for it, more nervous behavior, plays it off, hangs out, stays in the environment, makes sure he got the shot, looks at his phone, and this woman's been victimized and she doesn't know it, fortunately. Uh, probably this other male who watched him do all that uh, rolls up and confronts him for what he has just done. So a lot of content coming off of a little clip, but you know, I want you guys to see the world and move in the world the way that I do as a protection professional. And so we make these videos to help good people become more willing, capable, and prepared. So come train with us at protectorsymposium.com. From the comfort of your own home, we're at our live events. This is Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade, reminding you to be peaceful, but not harmless out.